Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sekular Starcraft back bringing you another live game. It's game two between Illmatic Dubs and Dipstick. If you didn't see game one, it was rather entertaining. That was so funny. I, uh, I, the link is down below, you guys have to check that out. Uh, this is essentially like a, a bronze slash silver. Do you like the D? <laughs> we all like the D. Yes. That was, uh, uh, check it out now, I'm going to spoil it, because it's, it was so interesting, and that's just the beginning of a TVT, so you might as well. What we saw out of Illmatic Dubs was three proxy barracks against, um, the Terran opponent, and Dipstick just managed to get down the ultra clutch bunker save. And then he went for one Reaper that denied the expansion. It was like the luckiest game I have seen. In a long time. That was so funny. Something I'll note for amateur players, I generally do this. When you've got your... Yeah, Illmatic's doing it now. At the beginning of the game, obviously you want your SCVs to jump around as little as possible. So it's nice to micro around where your command center is going to rally. Just so that way you don't you don't have your SCVs jumping all over the place. That obviously makes you mind less. We've actually got a much earlier scout from Dipstick on this game. Whereas he didn't really scout last game. Oh no. What the? Nice. That is really funny. Is it gas? Does he have gas? And this is the game where William goes CC first. If Will loses this game, he is going to flip his lid. The problem is, if you're going to go for this, you might as well send out a second SCV and go for two racks. Particularly as there's no gas back here. One thing you can do as a Terran player is you can get down a gas and go for a proxy Marauder. Marauders are extremely robust. They deal super, super well against Marines in the early game. Or you can go for Reapers, because the Reapers have the mobility and that ability to regenerate health. Yeah, we do have that second barracks going to be forming here soon. And it's going to be double barracks on this side. And once again, the barracks timings, I mean, there's... Oh, wow. We used to call this the parachute. Um, you're paradropping into the base. Anybody who watches old school, old school Slayer's Boxer is familiar with the parachute. You essentially make you know several proxy barracks, you float them in, and then start building production. Now I'm interested to see if this works out. There is gas from William. And he's going to be spending some of his money to get up these extra orbitals here soon. So I'm interested to see what comes of this here. Now, unfortunately for Dipstick, his timing isn't great on this play. This play is super ballsy. I'm going to be so excited if this works. Back at home, I mean, he's, he's fairly all in on this just because, obviously, his opponent has the expansion down earlier. But his economy, he's got a good lead. And he's got the double barracks in the base now. Now, what is he doing back at home? Scan, sees the barracks, sees no gas. So I wonder if... Now, just as a note uh, for Dipstick here, that orbital command should be going down really soon. You got a ton of money. Throw down the orbital, throw down another command center. That way, even if he gets scouted... Oh, man. Rally together. Oh, the SCV pull. See that micro? Oh no. Not the best micro there. He's gonna get surrounded by those Marines. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot at stuff. Now what you should do is rally into a corner. That's always your best bet. Rally. Oh, your, your Marines. Now, did he do enough damage? He only got about five worker kills on that. And behind this, look at the money you can see here from Dipstick. Six racks. Why not? Um, that orbital would help a lot. We can see units-wise, there's still a very big lead for Dipstick because he's been very diligent at making SCVs. But with double orbitals down for William here, he's going to be in a... Wow. Why not? 
Balls to the wall. Now, he's going to get supply blocked here pretty quick. Let's see if he recognizes that that's the case. He should throw down another command center or something. There we go. Just, just because. That's too bad. I was really hoping that parachute play would work. I thought it, it had the potential to. Back at home, he's going to go for even more Marines, rallying them all to the front. Round two. Now, if William can get a tank out, or maybe even a couple of Widow Mines, he'll be in good shape. Let's go back to the production tab here. I um, see William, he's been missing out on some of his SEVs. You can see he's got the money too. It's very important. He's got those hotkeys set up to, to keep moving on those SEVs. Because he is still technically behind on economy. Even though he's had a command center down for longer. Is he going for a third seat? He is too, that greedy bugger. And he's going to get a bit of a rude awakening about this as well. Oh, no, don't lose it. Oh, he got the cancel off at the last second, actually. That was really good for him. Well, he's getting himself into a good economic position here, and you can see he wants to get those tanks out. I don't... You don't have enough of your dipstick, unfortunately. We'll run away. Is he going again? Oh, no, he rallied his SCVs down here. More Marines still flooding across. A couple of idle SCVs here. Once again, you need to get the, that orbital down. You can see the money floating right now for Dipstick. Still got a worker lead. The tank has not been started here. Will does not have the gas income. No, he's taking both gas, but that means he's getting very little on the minerals in his main base. William Marines, we got 12 to 12. William's got that, that supply block again. This is actually pretty nervous for him. I know he gets that supply block going, and it's very, very sucky. I wouldn't be too surprised to see Dipstick go for a push here really soon, just because he's got way more production. Where's that scan going? Oh, he sees the front. He can take that. Let's see if he goes. Yeah, he's got enough here. That's a lot of Marines. No tank ready for Will. Oh, man. I think this is... He's just going to get walked over here. His upgrades are on the way now, too, but... Um, no micro needed. We're going to see three mules worth of energy die off there. Another two there. Bad rallies from William. you got to rally to the main of your base. There he goes. See, I'm surprised he didn't go for the damage on the CC here. I mean, it's always worthwhile to get guaranteed damage. More units are moving across. These units, it's nice to rally them into the base, but we see a huge supply block right now for Dipstick. Tank is out! Gets one shot off, unfortunately. Now, he still hasn't noticed his supply block, but he is moving in the next one. Yeah, and there's the GG. <laughs> I don't know why. Justin just seems to have Will's number on this game. Sego StarCraft, two games right now for the dipstick. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in.